So first, warm air rises, and this eventually can produce storm clouds. Up in these thunderstorm clouds, the ice particles and water droplets collide, and these collisions cause the positive and negative charges in the clouds. The positive charges, those position themselves at the top of the cloud, and the negative charges, they set up at the base of the cloud. And then way below the cloud on the ground, those are a lot of positive charges down there. The energy from the negative charge meets the leader from the positive charge that's coming up from the ground. This creates that lightning flash. These are negative strikes, but you can also get positive lightning strikes too. That's when a positive charge from the storm's anvil meets a negative charge on the ground. Also, wanted to give you some quick facts about lightning too. Lightning can heat the air it passes through up to 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Also, lightning doesn't have to be directly over you to pose a threat. It can strike 10 to 15 miles away from the parent storm. If you want to get a distance on how far away that lightning is from you, the math's easy. For every five seconds you count, that equals one mile. So if you see the lightning flash and then hear the thunder five seconds later, that's one mile away. If you hear the thunder 10 seconds later, that's two miles away. And just remember, when you hear thunder, the safest thing you can do is just get inside.